talking about Meghan Markle joining the British monarchy, she must have wondered exactly what she could receive or indeed was offered as part of such a wonderful institution. Not just her though, as we literally found out, her mother Doria Ragland, a woman apparently who was an entrepreneur and started up her own business, did incredibly well, allegedly, out of the British monarchy also. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. Are you all right? Yes. Thank you for joining me. Lovely to have your company. Dory, it does fascinate so many people, as I'm sure you can imagine. And of course, by the way, can I just say thank you before we do that story to you. Wonderful comments regarding the British MPs and what do they do for you? It seems it's all over the world, doesn't it? I mean, I truly wanted to share that story because I just find that all these people that we elect to look after us, look after our interests, whether that be fixing a broken down gate in your constituency, uh, block drains or whatever, no, they're too busy on TV too busy having media training, trying to get their own shows on television. It's ridiculous. My motto is if they're not doing the job and they shouldn't have another job and they should be fired from it. I'm glad you all agree. Back as ever though to uh, the Doria story. Fascinating as I say, I do actually do find her quite fascinating because it's very difficult to find information out about Meghan's mother. Mysterious periods of, well, inconsistency, shall we say, right? Now, what's interesting, I find, also, is when Meghan entered the British monarchy, very quickly she seconded her mother, Doria Ragland. And what truly emerged was the fact that, as we saw, she suddenly had the high life. Now, when you look at her at the wedding, she looked very demure, very sort of uh, lost. That's because Meghan refused, clearly, to have any family members around her. There could have been other family members. It didn't have to be a father or, indeed, a estranged sister or brother, you know. Uh, the half-brother and sister. It could have been many different family members. Meghan clearly chose to remove any family membership, which baffled the late monarch. It could have literally had anybody sat next to Doria. But then it emerged, of course, that Doria did incredibly well. Let me explain. You see, when she was flying back in and out uh, of London, it was always business class, always met on arrival by a chauffeured limousine, always escorted back into London with police escort. I kid you not. And then, of course, what was fascinating was we found out that Doria did indeed get royal dosh some kind of allowance. Now, apparently, this allowance was given to Doria simply because she was giving up her full-time work, her only source of income, yes, uh, from, of course, her job back over in the US. Baffling again, and of course, amid lots of confusion, because Meghan Markle allegedly came to the marriage with five million. If you have five million, surely you can afford to look after your mother. The bottom line is, why was Doria still working? And if it was such a pitiful fee, why then couldn't Meghan just step in and cover that fee? Looks like they were grifting from the off. Either way. But what I find fascinating is it is without a doubt and was given royal dosh. Now we're not quite sure whether this money actually came from the public purse. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Or the other side of the coin. Did it come from, of course, uh, literally His Majesty the King as he is now, Prince Charles, who was more than happy to cover every single cost. And boy, did he pay heavily for Meghan Markle coming into the British monarchy, not just for the personal side of things, but for the frocks, the diamonds, you name it. Literally, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle hoovered through thousands, if not millions of pounds very, very quickly. Fascinating though that Doria also did so well. No wonder, of course, she doesn't want to make connections now with His Majesty the King. Maybe she at least has some contrite or indeed some shame. Either way, it's a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.